Hey everybody, how you doing? Hope you're hanging in there. This is a much better backdrop than driving around in my car, isn't it? So today I want to talk a little bit more on some things that you can be doing while you may not be currently meeting with customers or maybe you feel like you're, you're running out of, out of work and you're not sure what to do. So I've got a few more ideas I'd like to share with you. Number one, making videos. If, if you don't have a YouTube channel already, if you don't have a, um, a Facebook business account, an Instagram business account, you should set those up and start making videos talking about the sales process, what people are going to expect when, when, they, when they build a home, the first steps, the things that they need to do, the people that they're going to meet with, the, the different selections that they're going to make, the overall timeline. There's so much content that you can put out there in video form to where these are things that are gonna benefit you in the future. Once you consistently put out videos pertaining to real estate or new home building, people who are looking for real estate or new home building in your area are gonna find your videos. I know this for sure because it's happened with me. I don't know how many um, customers have come in and said, I've been watching your YouTube videos or I've been watching your Facebook videos. They've been watching those videos, they've been getting to know me through the videos. They now have a sense that I know what I'm, what I'm talking about. They, uh, they see me as credible. They maybe see me as an expert in the field because of the videos that I'm putting out there. So this is gonna be a huge benefit to your career and you've got some time on your hands right now maybe to where you can start doing that. Uh, some other video ideas. You can go to a house that's under construction. Uh, you know, right now there may not be a lot of people there. Maybe there's a few people working there. You can go at certain times of the day and you can walk through the house and you can talk about certain things in the house. You can showcase the types of windows that you use. If they're double hung windows, demonstrate how, you know, the top and the bottom sash opens and explain how that's different or how that's better to a builder that uses single hung windows or vice versa. So there's lots of different topics that, you know, there's a million different pieces that go into building a house. So there's tons of different topics you can do on creating videos for new construction building or for real estate. So that's something that you can start doing right now. Start your YouTube channel, start your Facebook business account, and then with your Instagram, whatever you post on Instagram can automatically go to Facebook. It's a really good way to, to do it. But start getting yourself out there, your information out there, so that people are seeing you as the expert source for new home building or real estate in your market. Okay, real quick, I do wanna throw something out there. I do have a consulting service. It's almost like a, a subscription type service where there'd be a monthly fee and I'm available to help you via phone, email, whatever it is, anytime that you need it. You can pick up the phone, you can call me, you can email me about certain things, bounce things off of me. It's a great service. I've got a, a client that I'm working with right now doing it and I think there's a huge benefit for it. So if you're interested in something like that, let me know in the comments. Thank you. Back to the video. Number two, and I don't know if this is called the same thing for everybody, but as a real estate agent, I'm a member of our local Realtors Association as well as the National. And <clears throat> we have a system that's called the MLS, the, uh, the Metro Listing Service. And that's basically, every part of the country has their own, it's probably called something different, but if you're a real estate agent, you have access to this, and that's where you're, that's where you're searching properties for your clients. That's where you're going on and, and looking for certain things. So a couple of different things that you can do there. Number one, if you're selling new construction homes or if you're a realtor that is selling new construction homes or helping clients find lots, put together a list of all the existing lots that are out there so that you can have in your sales model, you can have a book. Somebody can come in, a lot of times when they're starting off the process, they need to find a lot. So you've got a book of lots that they can look at. Have the subdivision plat in there, have the, the listing page for the lot with all of the, uh, the details in there. But how great would that be to have a resource instead of, you'll still need to go on to the MLS and, and update yourself there, but to be able to just grab a book and look at, or, or a PDF on your computer, whatever it is, and look at everything that's out there. So if you've got somebody that you're working with and they say, 
you know, I, I really want to be in the Mount Pleasant area. I'm looking for a, a half acre. I don't want it to be in a subdivision. Yada, yada, yada. You can grab something. You can look at the inventory that's there and you can give that out to your clients. And you're not just giving out the lots that you as a builder own. These are all of the lots that you as a builder can build on. So again, if you're that person who is going to help the client find the lot and help them with that first step, most likely you're going to be able to help them through the entire process. Number three, this goes along with the MLS or whatever system that you're using, get to know it a little bit better. So I'm not a full-time real estate agent. My, my full-time, full-time is new construction home sales, but I do real estate as well. And I use the MLS all the time to look up properties. Um, I've got home flippers I work with, so I'm looking for flip homes on there. But there's still a lot that I don't know how to do on the MLS, including, and I'm sure it'll be easy to figure out, but setting myself up on a hot list or a hot sheet. So basically what that means is you're gonna put parameters into the MLS that say anytime there's a new lot in Mount Pleasant or in Racine between $50,000 and $75,000, it's gonna get emailed directly to you. So you don't have to constantly be going onto the MLS. You're automatically getting these things sent to you. And I've got clients that I'm working with. Some of them are always looking for large pieces of land. I'm talking hundreds of acres of farmland. I've got people that are looking for homes to flip. I've got people right now that are looking for certain type of properties that they want to build on. So if, if I go on the MLS and I set myself up on this hot sheet and I'm getting these things emailed to me, I don't have to think about them. I don't have to, you know, they're, they're top of mind. As soon as I get something emailed to me, oh, you know what? That's perfect for so-and-so. I'm going to let them know about it. As opposed to, I forget about it. I go on the MLS after this property's already hit the market for three weeks and maybe it's not even available anymore. And that's my bad. So learn to use the MLS. There's a lot of great tools that are on there. And these are things that are going to benefit you and make you a better salesperson in the future. Because if you know how to maneuver the MLS and you know how to do these certain things, that's going to save you a lot of time in the future. And the more time that you have, the more sales that you can make. Because basically it comes down to how many people can I meet within a week that translates into how many houses you're gonna end up selling in a year. So if you've got more time to meet with people and more time to do those face-to-face those -face sales things, then you're gonna sell more homes. So those are just some ideas of some things that you can do right now while you feel like you may be running out of work or you don't have the same amount of clients that you're able to meet with. Those are some things that you can do. Just wanted to throw those ideas out there um, if you're wondering where I am, so this is the greenhouse that I built last year. We've been using it all winter. We've got fruit, well not fruits, but we've got vegetables that we're growing in here. We've got all kinds of plants in here. Check out our other YouTube channel, which is called the Lawrence Garden Farm. If, if you've got a family or if you're interested in gardening, we document everything that we're building on our property. We've got amazing gardens. We've got this greenhouse. If you've got kids, it's clean, wholesome entertainment for them. And if you're into gardening or wanting to get started with it, that's the place to go as well. So check out the Lawrence Garden Farm. Thank you so much for your time. God bless. Take care.